Hello everyone and welcome back to our grammar video series. I am so happy that so many people enjoy watching these videos because I really do have a lot of fun making them. I noticed there are many new students who are watching the videos as well. Make sure if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button below so you can get the new videos as soon as they come out every Friday. Also, if you can, hit the thumbs up button just to let me know that you like the video. In today's grammar video, we're going to talk about the grammar point conjunctions. If you haven't watched the videos before, what is a noun, what is a verb, what is an adjective, what is an adverb, make sure you go back and watch those videos first. It really will help you understand this video today, what is a conjunction. And like always, I love, love reading your comments, the comments you send me below. It really helps me know who's here watching the videos with me. Last week, I saw some great comments. Uh, Alex, I love your shirt. Alex, I love your glasses. One comment, um, Alex, we love your English, but you have a big head. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do with that one, but I love all the comments. It really lets me know that you're enjoying the video and I enjoy making these videos. So without any further ado, let's get started with our grammar video today. What is a conjunction? Let's get over to the classroom and get started. Oh, it's over. It's over here. Oh, okay, Let, let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get started with today's video. So again, today's video, we're going to talk about the grammar point conjunctions. Actually, this is probably one of the easier grammar points to remember. It's a grammar that you use all the time in English. You probably just didn't know the word conjunction. So first, let's take a look at the word conjunction definition. Conjunctions are used to connect words, phrases, or simple sentences. The most common conjunctions are and, but, or, or so. Haha, <laughs> and you thought this grammar was going to be difficult. So today's grammar point conjunctions, this is something you use all the time. You probably just didn't know the word conjunction. But just to make sure that everyone is really clear how to use a conjunction, we're going to do a couple examples. And our first example, we're going to use the conjunction and and take a look at this. My sister is going to France and Spain this summer. So here the conjunction and you're telling the listener that you're going to do this and that you're going to do both. So when you put and together, you're actually saying, I am going to do this and I'm going to do that. You're going to do both. So remember when you use the conjunction and you're telling the listener this and that together. I think and is maybe a little easier to understand, but let's take a look at the next conjunction here. But for example, my brother loves apples, but hates apple pie. So the conjunction, but you have to have a positive and you have to have a negative. So my brother loves apples, but hates apple pies. So you need to have something positive and you have something negative and you put them together. For example, I love pizza, but I hate the cheese. I love pizza, but I hate, is that possible? Oh yeah, no cheese pizza, yeah, it's possible. <laughs> but you see, you have a positive and you have a negative. I love cheese. No, 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 no. I love pizza, but I hate cheese. So you have a positive and a negative together. All right, guys, let's take a look at the next example here. You use the conjunction or to show a choice. So for example, today we can go to the beach or the park. So this example is really important because you're telling the listener they can only choose one. You can go to the beach or you can go to the park. Not both. You have to choose one. The conjunction and you can go to the beach and the park, both. But the conjunction or you have to choose one. 
you can choose the beach or the park. So you have to choose one. I think that was an easy one. Now let's get to the last one, the one that's a little bit more tricky. Take a look at this conjunction here. The conjunction so tells you about something happens because of something else. This one is a little bit more tricky to understand. So let's take a look at an example and we'll go from there. I forgot to set my alarm, so I was late for school. So we use the conjunction so when we want to tell somebody because this happened, so this happened. Okay. For example, I was driving my car really fast, so the policeman gave me a ticket. Because I did A, B happened. This is when we use so. Or I didn't pay attention while I was cooking, so the dinner burned. Right. So because I did A, B happened. I think so is might be the one that's a little bit tricky to understand. So we're going to do a few more examples just to make sure you're really clear. So in these examples, I will give you four choices. You can use a conjunction, but, or, so, or, and, and you're going to fill in the blank and tell me which conjunction to use. For example, number one, someday I will live in France, blank, America. What conjunction do we use here? If you said, someday I will live in France and America, that's right. Maybe some of you said, someday I will live in France or America. That's right too. In sentence number one, in example number one, both are okay. Someday I will live in France or America. Or you can say, someday I will live in France and America. For this example, both conjunctions are okay. Let's take a look at another one. My friend loves curry and rice, blank. We will go to an Indian restaurant for dinner. What conjunction do you think we should use here? All right, if you said so, you are right. My friend loves curry and rice, so we will go to an Indian restaurant for dinner. So because A, my friend loves curry and rice, B, we will go to an Indian restaurant. So because of A, B will happen. When you have this kind of sentence, you need to use so. All right, let's take a look at another one here. James thought that the test was difficult, blank, still scored well. So here, what should we use? But, or, so, or, and. If you said, but, you are right. James thought that the test was difficult, but still scored well. So he thought it was difficult, negative, but he scored well, which is a positive. That's why we use, but here. Let's take a look at another one. Lisa went to the mall and bought shoes, blank, clothes. What do you think here? All right, if you said and, you are right. Lisa went to the mall and bought shoes and clothes. Maybe some of you said or. Or would not work here. Do you know why? Ah, perfect. If you said that bought is past tense verb, you are right. So Lisa went to the mall and bought shoes or clothes. It doesn't work because this is past something that already happened. So here in number four, you only have one choice and. Lisa went to the mall and bought shoes and clothes. All right, guys, you did awesome. I know that this grammar point was not the most difficult. Conjunctions are one of the easier grammar points. You probably just didn't know the word. But when learning the English language, when learning English grammar, there's steps and steps and steps. Some of them are easy. Some of them are a little bit more difficult. The grammar point conjunction is a little bit easier, but it really helps you with our next grammar video next. So make sure that you're 100% clear on conjunctions before we move to our next grammar video next week. All right, until I see you next Friday, aloha.